Right, so the um, the plaster cloth has been drying over the wooden framework for a couple of days. Um, so today I'm going to have a go at sticking on some of the rock plaster castings um, and then applying some scenic paint to um, get the desired finish. Um, so using the woodland scenic moulds. Um, so we've made some small outcropping style rocks to go over the larger rock faces um, some of them are quite quite decent shapes actually you can make about 60 of them up to now you, you get 10 on a sheet so it's six sheets um, this one is probably my favorite shape it's quite um quite detailed as all the mold and it's quite good you use the um plaster we've mixed it at what 100 units of plaster to 69 units of water and um, it seems to get quite a good finish on it. It's dried, it's quite it's quite hard, not, not too crumbly um, and not too brittle either, so it seems to have worked well. Um, I had a, I've had a small experiment with, with gluing it onto the plaster cloth. Um, tried PVA glue, which was taking ages to dry, even undiluted. Um, tried super glue, which was too brittle. Um, Avaldite epoxy resin was good, but the price of it would just be ridiculous. So, you know, it's nearly five quid for a pack. Um, in the end, never used it before, but trying this Gorilla Glue, um, I've read good and bad things about it. It does foam up to like three to four times its size when you put it on, um, but just don't put too much on and then just hold it in place with a piece of wood or something until it's dried. It's hard to tape or clamp it. And these vertical surfaces with plaster. Um, it seems seems to be going well. I'll just show you a, a small bit that I have started. Um, so these bits behind the wood are two rock faces which I've just go well glued on for now. And you can see how they're going. And then in typical Blue Peter fashion, here's one I did earlier. And this is <laughs> the lock all stuck on which we did last night actually and <laughs> um, painted and then also applied some of the um, what is it the Javis scattered with pasta um, as like a, a grass filler um, just zoom in so you can see a bit better need to paint that tunnel opening yet See the kind of basic finisher, um, and that's painted using some acrylic paint tag under the bed. And um, what have we got? We've got the burnt sienna, um, burnt umber, and yellow ochre. Um, so use the yellow and the burnt umber and diluted with about 16 to 20 units of water per unit of paint dab them on first and then this burnt sienna because that was a brighter colour uh, doubled the amount of water and used one unit of paint to 32 units of water and kind of brushed it over the top I think I'd seen it on one of the Woodland Scenics website videos of how to, how to paint the scenes and then kind of once that's dry do a, a darker black wash over the top which will help to um to bring out any cracks in the rock um seems, seems to be going well though I quite like the finish I don't know if the lights how the lights catching in here but I kind of wanted a, a natural rock face but not too dark either um so yeah I'll carry on and see how it see how it goes later so it's been quite a productive evening um and afternoon Managed to get most of the um, larger rock face slabs glued on um, and also the smaller outcropping plaster pieces that I've made um, and then painted it with the same paints as I've tried over on the left near the single tunnel. Added some of the Javis grass scatter and also some um, of that woodland scenic. Um, bush clumpy material um, and 
this is the result up to now. Not too bad. Ran out of um, outcropping, so made another few batches tonight just to finish that little section off. And so once they're dry tomorrow, I'll be able to get them on. Um, and I think well, there's going to be. Let's think. That's the um, point rodding. So there's going to be a signal box there, um, and then I'll try some static grass in this area once the, the base grass there is dried. Um, probably some static grass all the way along actually. See how it goes. So next, plan for the next job is finish that tomorrow, um, and then the rest of the hill and tunnel there and there. Probably going to paint it with green acrylic as a base colour, and then use some of the um, rough ground scatter and dark brown scatter and then static grass over the top and see how that goes looking good up to now though i'm impressed and pleased with that for now <laughs> 